Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, such as bourbons, rise, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That will alert you to when I'm doing new uh, uploads or live streams. If you're already a supporter or subscriber to the channel, thank you so much for all of your support. So today from Heaven's Door uh, Whiskey Company, uh, we've got basically three of their readily available uh, whiskeys. They are a little bit new to the, um, to the scene, maybe within the last year, year and a half or so. And um, these, were, these samples were sent to me uh, for me to do a review of in full transparency. So what I try to do with most or all of my reviews is we'll go through the appearance, nose it, taste it, get into the finishing part of it, and then maybe discuss anything else having to do with the uh, whiskey or the brand itself. So uh, first we're gonna start with uh, what they're calling Heaven's Door uh, Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, this is gonna be a mash bill that's undisclosed, uh, non-age stated uh, proof is gonna be 90 proof or 45% uh, ABV. And the MSRP on this one is gonna be right around that 45 to $55 range uh, based on uh, where it is that you live. So uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll kind of get into the review. So first what I'd like to try to do is just move the, the whiskey around in the glass a little bit, see maybe how oily it is. And this is actually fairly oily for a 90 proof um, you know, whiskey. There's still some pretty nice nice legs on it. And also it helps to, you know, open up the whiskey a little bit. These have only been open uh, now for maybe about five or 10 minutes to just kind of help again, open up a little bit. So, all right. So again, first this is going to be the Heaven's Door uh, Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey. Mm. So right away, kind of a nice sweet corn aspect, light spice that's there light oak, some caramel notes, that creamy vanilla kind of note. If you could, if you, if something could smell creamy, it, it would smell kind of creamy. A little bit of that, that kind of, you know, Tennessee note. There is a little bit of that mineral aspect to it. Some cinnamon and a little bit of a, a zest. I don't know if it's quite orange or you know, maybe like a lemon zest, maybe a combo of those two, not overly sweet, but there's a little bit of that zestiness to it. All right, let's give this a, uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. So right away, nice little spice kind of hits right immediately, like right on that mid palate with some nice spice, a little bit of oak that's there. Some of that caramel vanilla. And again, maybe maybe a touch of that mineral note. Not heavy like I've had from a lot of other Tennessee whiskeys. Not quite as like Flintstone vitamin dominant or anything like that. There's a touch of that, but it's not, it's definitely not as heavy as I have had on on some other um, you know, whiskeys before. Still some of that nice kind of sort uh, sweet corn presence. And again, a little bit of there's that little bit of that zest that's there as well. Kind of interesting. Not quite orange and lemon. Maybe a little bit of the combo of the the sweet and kind of that sour uh, note from the from the lemon. So very interesting. You know, finish wise, I'd say, you know, maybe maybe medium. Probably on the shorter side of medium. Still nice vanilla caramel notes little bit of that barrel influence a little bit of oak that's there not overly dry by any means you know i'd say really the finish is kind of on the shorter side to be honest fairly sweet again a little bit of that spice that's there and some of the oak so you know a fairly kind of straightforward you know um, you know, Tennessee whiskey type of profile, just on, you know, less on the, the mineral side of, of things. So, all right, so let's move on to uh, their second product, which is this here. Uh, so this is what they're calling Heaven's Door Double Barrel Whiskey. Again, mash bill undisclosed. This is gonna be 100 proof or 50% ABV. 
non-age stated. Uh, MSRP on this was right around that maybe $50 to $60 uh, price point. So, all right, so let's move this around a little bit, see what we get as far as it coating the glass. So yeah, very similar, I would say, to the, the Tennessee whiskey color, kind of that light copper, um, you know, amber type of color to it. So not overly viscous by any means, a little bit of some legs, a little bit of an oily characteristic, but not not super heavy on that. So, all right, let's see what we've got uh, nose-wise. Oh, so this is completely different. So right away I get hit with this nice, like little bit of a maple syrup type of note. Like a buttercream, oh, this is really nice. Vanilla, so there's that combo buttercream, vanilla type of, of note to it. Ah, a nice rich caramel note. Nice spice, not overly spicy at all, but a nice, nice spice layer to it. Uh, even like a little bit of a, a light dark fruit. And you know, still some of that underlying barrel uh, type of note. Not heavy on the oak by any means. But yeah, really nice kind of maple syrup note to that with still some of that underlying spice that's there. All right, in interesting. Let's uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. Cheers. Hmm. So my first thought right away, just based on the first sip, actually, let's give this a second sip and see. So it's kind of interesting so far. So my first thought right away is a like a vanilla cake or a vanilla, you know, cream frosting or something along those lines. Very like vanilla cakey um, with some nice spice and a rich caramel. Really nice on the palate so far. I wasn't expecting uh, that. Not always something do I get this very like vanilla cake type of, of note to it. But again, a nice underlying spice hits right there on the mid to maybe the back of the palate, but it's very mid palate uh, dominant. Still some of the, that light oak that's there, not overly dry by any means, really not much dryness to it at all. But there's still a little bit of that, not dominant, but there's that confectionery sweetness to it. Um, so there's, it's combined with that, like with a you know vanilla cake or buttercream, something along those lines. There's just that that initial sweetness and that maple syrup, which is really really nice. And really, kind of the more I've talked, there's a even a little bit of a, a leather note that kind of starts to come out in it. So a really really interesting uh, profile. Again, I'm I'm assuming that all of this stuff are gonna be sourced. I don't think they're producing any of their own stuff, at least what's in the bottle now, I believe is all, all source product. Um, but yeah, a really, really nice, interesting. If you like a sweet bourbon, uh, this would be definitely something to, to consider. Now, finish-wise, I still think it finishes you know, on the sweeter side with some of that light spice and oak that's there, some of the caramels. But again, yeah, just very that, that rich vanilla that's there with some of that still a little bit of a leather note that's there. So really, really interesting uh, profile. So again, I think if that's something that, that fits something you like with a sweeter uh, side of things with a little bit of spice, you know, give, give, that a, give that a try. Very interesting. All right, so... Third up uh, is going to be basically their rye whiskey. So this is the Heaven's Door uh, Straight Rye Whiskey. Finished in, and I don't know if I'm, hopefully I don't butcher this too bad, but Voskis, Voskis uh, Barrels. And I'm not even exactly sure uh, what that is. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit more looking. If somebody does know what Voskis or Voskis, V-O-S-G-E-S -E Barrels are, uh, let me know in the comments below. Again, mash bill on this, undisclosed. This is going to come in at 92 proof or 46% ABV. Again, non-age stated. 
and the price I saw on this was ranged anywhere from about $65 to $80. Uh, so, all right, let's move this around a little bit, see what we, uh, what we get here. So very, very similar to the other ones, not overly viscous. And again, I mean, at 92 proof, probably chill filtered, you're stripping some of those, those fatty acids out of it, not leaving it to be very overly viscous by any means, but you know, not, not too bad at, at all. So color wise, again, you're in that like, you know, light amber, um, you know, type of, of color. So light copper, maybe even. All right, let's give this a, let's give this a nose. Oh boy. So right away you get hit with that nice, that nice mint aspect to it. Again, nice spice, really nice kind of sweet rye spice. Mm. Some of that barrel influence, a little bit of a light, light vanilla in the background there. Maybe even a touch of black pepper there as well. But yeah, definitely some vanilla, nice mint note to it. Some of that barrel influence, but you know, nice sweet rye spice to it. So, all right, let's give this a, let's give this a try. Cheers. So like you'd kind of expect with a rye, immediately a nice rye spice. Sweet, some of those underlying vanilla, uh, vanilla characters. Some mint that's there. Probably medium on the oak side of things. But really nice sweet spice with that mint uh, type of note to it. Not really dill. I know sometimes with ryes, they can either lean towards the minty side or like the dill side. Um, not getting much or really any uh, dill aspect on it, so more of the the mint side of things, and that's important for people uh, from the rye standpoint. Is that there will be people who really enjoy the minty side versus the the you know dill side, and and vice versa. So, but for me on this, not getting much or really any uh, dill, more more of the mint mint side of things. Even a touch of um, like a zest, maybe more of like a, a lemon zest, not super sweet like orange, so more of like a lemon peel or lemon zest, something along along those lines with a little bit of that mintiness. Some of the barrel uh, characteristics are, are coming through. Really nice sweet rye spice though. So um, again, without knowing where it's sourced from, it's a, it's a nice, really nice rye whiskey. Um, and again, I mean, it would be really, really well in, in, a, in a cocktail. I think there's probably enough proof there to, to make maybe a really nice Manhattan or something along those lines. So uh, finish-wise, I'd say on that, again, probably mid medium with a nice kind of rye spice with some of that vanilla sweetness, um, nice mint aspect to it. Does leave this kind of little bit of a, a tingly feel like right on the front or the mid of the mid palate. So really nice uh, lineup. I think they've done a, a really, really nice job with, with these. So this will be one of those companies I wanna keep my eye on just to kind of see what their products are and how they continue to develop. Uh, I know they have a couple of other things out, I believe, that have just recently released, but this is their probably standard uh, lineup in terms of what um, they're kind of producing on a, on a daily basis. So. Again, uh, this is from Heaven's Door uh, Whiskey Company, and uh, you know, give them a try. So it'll be interesting to kind of follow along and see how their uh, their products uh, develop. So, uh, with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for tuning into uh, another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate uh, that. So make sure you like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. Let me know are these um, you know are any of these you know something that you've had your thoughts on that. Always interested to hear. Uh, people's thoughts on the, the whiskeys that I'm uh, reviewing. Uh, in addition to that, if you'd like to support or contribute to the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. If you'd like to follow me, um, you can on uh, Instagram at My Bourbon Journey. Same thing through uh, Twitter. And I do have a Facebook account uh, as well through My Bourbon Journey. So, and with that being said, remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.